Peace, blessings, and love to the sincere brothers and sisters and to those who serve you how with their God. So we're going to talk about folly set in high places. We're going to talk about these unruly women. And before I talk about this, this is not directed to the sincere brothers or to the sincere sisters. You understand? This is for those who the shoe fits. So let's go ahead and start off. Isaiah 53 and 4. That says, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God. Well, who are those that consider the Most High Yahweh's anointed punished by God? Well, we read about it. Psalms 41 and 7. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying, A vile disease has afflicted him. He would never he would never get up from the place where he lies. You see that? Verse 9 says, Even my close friend, someone I trusted, one who shared my bread, has turned against me. So you see why the most high God says dogs surround me a pack of villains right the same old villains each day doing the same thing so isaiah 53 and 4 says surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering yet we considered him punished by gods all right so understand this here these people who are the enemy of yahweh they're the ones who considered him being punished by the most high stricken by him and afflicted right well Let's talk about this. Proverbs 9 and 13. Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. So the Most High God says that there is a wicked wisdom that is upon our people, right? Like it says in Isaiah 60 and 2, darkness is upon the earth and a thick darkness is upon the peoples. But Yahweh rises up and His glory appears over us. So it says here, Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. Micah 7 and 10. Let's read about this wicked wisdom. Then my, then my enemy will see it and will be covered with shame. She who said to me, Where is Yahweh your God? See that? She who said to me, Where is Yahweh your God? So again, Let's understand this here. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. You see? You same people who say you love God. <laughs> the jokes is on you. Let's go ahead and show you that. Let's see if we can get that scripture on here. Isaiah 66 and 5 It says hear the word of Yahweh You who tremble at his word Your own people who hate you And exclude you Because of my name Have said let Yahweh be glorified That we may see your joy Right check this out though It says yet they will be put to shame So it's talking about you You same so called godly people You same people You know who talk about Jeeb is night and day, right? You want salvation, you want salvation, right? But you consider the Most High Yahweh's anointed to be a fool. You consider him to be punished by God, right? You consider him to have a vile, a vile disease. So this is that wicked wisdom, that unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing, you see? Just like some women on here, for instance, on YouTube and on Facebook, they are unruly. They think they know something. They think men, women, and child are supposed to bow down at their command, right? The Most High God told you that my people are fools and women rule over them. You see that? Why? Because, hey, they try to turn everything upside down, you see? That's why they're trying to turn your men into women and your women into men. That says, Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing, just like these women on YouTube and on Facebook, right? They, you know, they think they know everything. They're the same women on YouTube, <laughs> on Facebook, posting stuff night and day. But again, it all goes back to Folly. And I'm not talking about the sincere, righteous sisters. All right, the sincere are sincere. They're going to be righteous and they're going to continue to hear the word of God. But these unruly women, you see, these women who reject the word of God, doesn't matter what color you are. Doesn't matter who you are, really. 
but if you reject this, you think that we're crazy. You think we're just some conspiracy theorists, right? Well, you know, the jokes is on you because you're simple and you don't know nothing. You see that? Because a lot of these women on here, right, believe it or not, they're probably the same one to have behind closed doors that have little, you know, web shows and stuff like that. Oh, but that's none of my business, you see? You see? Again, a lot of these women on here, they're the ones with the mental problems. They're the ones who's suffering from attention disorders. You see that? I, I do what I do because I love people. You see that? These women on here, they're doing what they're doing because they love attention. They love likes. You see? They want to expose their goods. <laughs> Oh, but that's none of my business. So let's continue. Micah 7 and 10. Then my enemy will see it and will be covered with shame. She who said to me, where is Yahweh your God, right? These silly women, they think they know something. That says, my eyes will see her downfall. Even now, she will be trampled on the foot like mire in the streets. Okay? Let's read now. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 20. That says, I will make you a war to this people. This is why they can understand this. The Most High God told you that he will be that wall of fire around Zion and he will be the glory within. So let's read this. I will make you a wall to this people, a fortified, a fortified wall of bronze. You see that? <laughs> okay. A fortified wall of bronze. This is why the Most High God says that we will take root below and bear fruit above. It says they will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue and save you. You understand? To rescue and save you. The Most High God says that he was going to send his people a rescuer and a defender. A savior and a defender. Oh, you still thinking it's Jeebus? All right, that's good for you. That's why we are like a fortified wall of bronze. Because you people are stuck on stupid. You understand that? Okay. You're going to go down to the realm of the dead, and that is good for you. That is good for you. You understand that? That is good for you. All you people who reject the word of God, whether you're a male or a female, whether you're white, black, I don't care. It's good for you. You understand that? Because you're trying to fight against the word of God, and you will not overcome this. You can't box with the God. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how long you read the Bible. You think that cares? You think the most high how you know, really cares how long you've been reading the Bible? If you don't understand this right now, this is your ass. Okay? Take that message, whether you like it or whether you love it. Jeremiah 6 and 11. But I am full of the wrath of Yahweh, and I cannot hold it in. Pour it out on the children and the street, and on the young men gathered together. Both husband and wife will be caught in it. And the old, those weighed down with years. See? Those that have been reading the Bible for years, right? Well, yeah. It's talking about you. Okay? So if you reject this, understand. It's just pure wrath. Doesn't matter whether you get mad or not. Who are you? Mere mortal. <laughs> Ezekiel 48 and 35. The distance all around will be 18,000 cubits. See that? 18,000 cubits. <laughs> like we just read here. Jeremiah 15 and 20. I will make you a wall to this people. That is that. 18,000 cubits. That is that. That's that wall. Okay? I will make you a wall to this people, a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue you and save you, declares Yahweh. You see that? Verse 21. I will save you from the hands of the wicked and deliver you from the grass of the cruel. Who are the wicked? All oh, these damn false pastors and priests. Everybody who's talking against the word of Yahweh. You understand? Everybody who is against Yahweh and his anointed. You see? If they're not prophesying to you the word of God and what is being revealed to you now in these days, then they are against the word of God and they are considered to be the wicked. They will not be delivered. And that's the word of Yahweh. They will not be delivered. But you who understand who is your God, your savior, your king, your redeemer, you who understand that he is here in the flesh with you, you will be delivered. You will be delivered. You understand that? Judgment is upon the wicked. Believe that. Okay? Believe that. It is upon them. It's just a matter of time before they realize it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they realize it. They just don't want to tell you about it. But that's fine. So, again, let's understand this here. Jeremiah 6 and 12. It says, Their houses will be turned over to others, together with their fields and their wives. You see that? And their wives. When I stretch out my hand against those who live in the land, declares Yahweh, 
So this is why it says seven women will, will, will come back to one man. The most high, how it says he was going to rape your wives. Everything you got comfortable with. Jesus, Shiva, Buddha, Allah. That, all right, that's cool. The most high God says that your wife is defiled. Do you understand that? Verse 13 says, from the least to the greatest, all are greedy for grain, are greedy for gain. Prophets and priests alike all practice deceit. None of them teach the truth. You see that? None of them. This is why Proverbs 9 and 13 says, Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. Only the sincere brothers and sisters, which is like a drop in a bucket compared to a wave. Only those are the ones who are sincere. Only those are the ones who understand what's happening. Everybody else, they're just going against this. This is why it says here, all practice deceit. You understand? They all want to read the word of God for what they think it is. Not for what it truly is. So they all practice deceit. This is why your day has come where your practicing deceit will end. That's it. Isaiah 12 and 6. Shout out loud and sing for joy, people of Zion. For great is the Holy One of Yashara among you. You understand? Okay? So the days of your lives have come to an end. It doesn't matter how much you continue, you see? But through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh, this is Yahweh's rule. Okay? So we're going to continue to break down these bars of bronze. Okay? And iron. And these lies that they're trying to feed out people. We're going to continue. Psalms 2 and 11. Serve Yahweh with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Verse 12. Kiss his son or he will be angry and your way will lead to your destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all those who take refuge in him. So again, you play yourself if you want. But the Most High Yahweh says in these days, you're going to have to worship Yahweh. Okay? And what? And you're going to have to do homage to his son. Like it says, he is submit to God's royal son. And it's not talking about Jesus as much as you may want it to be. It's not. Proverbs 30 and 4. Who has gone up and who has come down? Surely you know, right? The sincere know who it is. And the sincere know that the one who has went up and come down is here. Doing what Yahweh said he would do, right? So peace, blessings, and love to you and your family. Shalom.